Hello and welcome to another episode or video of our OT Weekly Crafts. So today we are going to make a craft with some things that you likely have around your house, especially with the recent uptick in purchasing toilet paper. So I have two toilet paper rolls here. I'm sure you guys all have plenty of it. Uh, if you can save the roll, it's a great way to work on your cutting skills and make a fun little creature. I'm going to name mine Cory uh, for coronavirus. <laughs> I am also working with just what I have around the house. So I have some highlighters, some pens, <laughs> my scissors, and I do have some tape that we can use for later. I'll show you. We'll get there. So you're going to start by taking your toilet paper roll and you're going to draw a face anywhere along the bottom area here. You want to keep it kind of low. You'll see why shortly. So I'm going to do some really big circle eyes and then maybe a nice curve for the mouth. So I think I'm going to start with my pen and then color over it with a highlighter so you can see it a little bit better. Again, I don't have much at home that's a little bit darker, so here we go, working with what we have. Alright, so I'm going to make a circle for the eyeball. There we go. And I'm going to make another one next to it, but not too far away. There we go. I'm going to give him a little smiley face. He's happy. There you go. Ah, not so bad. Dark enough. I'm still going to color it in a, just a little bit more. Give him a little bit more pizzazz, if you will. <laughs> Corey the coronavirus. So I just colored in his eyes, and now I'm ready to make a cut. Now, parents, you can help this by making lines for those of us who might need some extra help. So I'm going to use my highlighter and make some lines along the edge. They don't have to be straight. They can be however you want it to be. Just enough that you can see it. So I drew just a couple lines there. You can kind of see one or two of them. So what you're going to do is find the line, find your scissor, and cut straight down. As far down as you can. And keep it going. So you can keep going along the lines that you made. You can add extras and snip it. This is perfect for people who are learning how to use our scissors because we get a lot of good snip practice. Thumbs on top, keep it going. There you go. You can get creative with the hair. You can make it curvy, like curly hair would be. Uh, my hair is going to be straight. I'm working on my straight lines. I'm going to go all the way around. Give him some nice hair. <laughs> and this is just like a, a fun little thing. It doesn't take all that long. So then now he's got some fun hair just like this. And we can keep working on our cutting skills and give him a trim. Go all the way around. So you can give him a little trim coming along the edge. That is kind of fun making little confetti as you go. Give his hair a little bit of a cut. I mean, I know they've relaxed the guidelines in the military, but still have to keep it short. <laughs> this is Cory here, our little hair. And now we can further use this. So with our tape, now if you look over here, I'm going to use my little guy here. I'm going to put some tape on the inside. You can keep him or you can use the plain one up to you. I'm going to tape him to the plain one. Give him a little body there. There we go. You can give him arms if you have pipe cleaners or anything like that. I don't, so I'm going to keep him just like this. He can talk, uh, do whatever. And you can also use this as an experiment. So you can take your toilet paper roll and tape it to your wall. I'll need to get another piece of tape for mine to work. Once you get the tape, you can find different things. I'll have to move my down a little bit for my temperature gauge up top there. There's one, and I gotta get one more piece right here. There we go. <laughs> Voila! Alright, so now the little confettis that you cut out from trimming his hair. Got it? You're gonna see if you can drop them down and see. Watch them go all the way through. There you go. 
this is an excellent cause and effect type of game where you can see perhaps who can drop all of their confettis down sooner. You can make it a race. You can just watch them fall. Maybe you sort by colors if you have pom-poms or anything like that. But if you just have some confettis and you want to have a little fun, you go for it. And that's been your OT Weekly.